Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I certainly do appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, today's beer comes from Bottle Lodge Brewing. These guys are out in California. This is their fundamental observation. Uh, I'm expecting great things from this beer. Uh, has awesome reviews. Uh, a lot of information on the bottle. Uh, It says here, fundamental observation, a barrel aged imperial vanilla stout, imperial stout aged with Madagascar vanilla beans and a blend of bourbon barrels. 13.55% alcohol by volume, it's a 2019 release, <clears throat> and basically on this style of beer, that's all we need, we need the vintage. That's a 2019. More than likely, they did not do it but one time in 2019. I don't know whether it was at the beginning of the year, middle of the year, end of the year, but that basically that's irrelevant. I would like to know that. Uh, it'd be nice if they would put something on there saying it was done in January 2019 or July, June, or December, but it is what it is. This was sent to me by Edmund. This wraps up his beer mouth package that he sent. Uh, 500 milliliter, milliliter bottle. Uh, very nice looking. Uh, a lot of stuff written on the on the label here. Uh, it says number five here. Uh, very nice. A lot of information on 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 there. It doesn't give us the IBUs or anything like that. It doesn't get go into when in 2019 it was released, but we do know it's a 2019 vintage. And like I said, more than likely they only released it once. You could probably go to their website and find that out if you wanted to. So, once again, thanks to Edmund for the beers he sent. This wraps it up uh, on his beer mail package. Uh, according to Beer Advocate, it says it's ranked number seven in the style. Pretty impressive number there. Uh, they, but they, they also have it at 14.3%. So, evidently, the picture they're showing here is a 2015 release. So, uh, a lot of times the uh, ABV changes from year to year or batch to batch. Uh, this one, I just, I just told you what the ABV was on this. I'm not quite that high. Uh, over to Untapped, they have it at 13.5%, and they say it's 40 IBUs on the 13.55%. says this liquid brownie batter was aged in a combination of Buffalo Trace, Woodford Reserve, Four Roses, Heaven Hill, and Knob Creek Bourbon Barrels. All awesome bourbons. Uh, says, uh, and finishes out a mighty 13.55% ABV. Each barrel saw multiple editions of Madagascar vanilla beans from one of the best crops in recent memory, ultimately aging the finished batch of beer with hundreds of pounds over the course of a year. Fundamental Observation was initially honored as 2015's best new beer on Beer Advocate. It ma maintains two entries on Untapped's top 50 rated beers for 2016 and 2017 vintages and just last year took gold in the Festival of Wood and Barrel Age Beer Specialty Strong slash Porter Stout category before going on to win FOBAB 2018 Best in Show. So a lot of accolades go along with this beer. Uh, I'm sure it probably wasn't a cheap bottle of beer to buy. So once again, Edmund, thank you for spending your hard earned money on the beers you sent me and paying to ship them to me. You're awesome, my friend. I do appreciate it, sir. Uh, and hopefully we'll get some more beer mouth packages or I'll see something that I neither haven't reviewed or need to re-review, but I have nothing else in the fridge. So uh, uh, once you see this one, if you don't see one the next day, that's because I have run out. And as soon as I get something, either I purchase it or somebody sends me something, we will do, we will continue on, guys. Not begging for beer. That's just the way it is. So, with that being said, that's all we need to say. 
let's find out what the beer is about. Nice cap. Probably have to keep that one. Put that on the fridge. And through the glass we go, guys. Pitch black coming out. I'm going to stand it up. Probably not going to get it all in the glass on the initial pour here. So, about a finger of head on that pour, guys. A nice khaki colored head. Very creamy looking on top. Uh, very dark black beer. Not any light at all coming through it. Good looking beer. Mm. To the nose we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Big bourbon nuts on this, guys. Awesome smelling beer. Absolutely outstanding smelling beer. Rich roasted malt. Hints of vanilla. Maybe some coconut uh, and woodiness from the barrels. And chocolate notes. Smells fantastic. Wow. Final beer of the evening for me. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Edmund. Thank you. I do appreciate it, sir. Mm, that has an awesome aroma. Mmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Vanilla, chocolate, coconut, bourbon, maybe some black molasses, roasted malt. Wow, that's perfect. I, can't, I couldn't tell you a single thing that I would change on this beer. It is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I know what's coming. I'm going to hand this to her. And I'm going to have to pry it back out of her hand. You don't want this, do you? No, honey, I don't. Go ahead. Just drink it out. Mm. What a super delicious dessert beer, which it is for me. Wow. D freaking delicious. I'm going to get the back end pour on here. And that way I, I will have to share it. Awesome. I bet this is an expensive bottle of beer. No doubt. No doubt about it. Hmm. Awesome. Absolutely awesome right now, guys. We're going to go out. And I'm going to hit that stogie I got out there. Sip on it. Let it come up to room temperature. And then we'll come back and do the final chug and grate. Hi, right, guys. I'm back. Myself now in about an hour or so. Very tasty beer. Awesome beer. Like I said, I had to pry it out of her hand. Uh, she absolutely loved it, and I do too. It is an awesome, world-class, outstanding beer. I would definitely buy this beer if it wasn't $25 a bottle. Uh, I don't know what Edmund paid for it, but I do appreciate it, and I know it wasn't a cheap bottle to buy, especially with what I've read here and how many different bourbon barrels that they put it in. Uh, awesome, outstanding, super well-made. This is world-class, guys, no doubt about it. It is freaking awesome. This is one you want to drink at home, no doubt. You do not want to try to drive after drinking one of these. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. I told you, don't do it. So, final chug. Awesome beer. I hate to do the final chug. I mean, I might have to have one more sip. Wow. Now, if you've never had a bourbon barrel aged beer, and you're you're drinking Budweiser, Miller Coors, or something, and you drink this, this it's going to blow your palate out of your mouth. I mean, it's going to put your face down in the dirt. If you're used to drinking these big imperial bourbon barrel beers, this one is super well made. Absolutely, outstandingly well made. Please be aware, if you're drinking a 13 and a half plus ABV beer, almost three 
Budweiser's. So just remember that. Uh, drink responsibly, guys. Don't get in trouble. Don't hurt anybody, yourself or anybody else. Final joke. That is freaking awesome. Awesome. Probably one of the best Imperial stouts that I've had this year. Especially for a 13.55%. It's absolutely delicious. It is probably one of the best ones I've had this year. And like I said, Barry Advocate had it ranked number seven in the style of all of the bourbon barrel beers. So, uh, Pretty impressive. Pretty damn impressive. Uh, 100 for me. Uh, I mean, it's a 12 on a scale of 10. It is absolutely outstanding. And I would buy this beer, like I said, if it wasn't $25 a bottle, I don't know what it had been paid for it. So, uh, I'm sure it wasn't cheap. I mean, come on. you, you got to realize how many different barrels they put this in and, and setting for as long as they had it. Uh, uh, it, that costs money. It costs the brewery money when it's taking up space and it's taking up that many barrels. And you, you got to realize you're not going to get this bottle for five dollars. <laughs> you're not. It's not going to happen. And if you do find it for five dollars, I'll take all of them that you can pick up and send to me. I'll give you money if you can get them for that money for that price. So uh, very impressive beer. One hundred for me, guys. Outstanding world class beer. Over to Beer Advocate. They have it at one hundred. World class, no doubt. I completely agree. Uh, and over to Untapped, they have it at 4.49. Almost the best numbers I've seen from them. Pretty damn close to the best numbers I've seen. Uh, so, it is world class. If you're into this style, the Bourbon Barrel Age, uh, Imperial Double Stouts, uh, this is definitely one you ought to pick up if you can get your hands on it. It is worthy. It is definitely worthy of it. Super impressive to me. Super impressive. So, with that being said, if you've had fundamental observation, this is a 2019 edition. So, uh, if you see a 2019 or even early ones, I mean, this style is not going to go bad. If you see a 2018 or 2017, even a 2016 or a 15 setting somewhere, they've aged it for you. It's not, it's, it's going to get better. And I don't know, like I said, this is middle of the year here in almost July of 2020 so I don't know when they do it if the 2020 is out yet or not I didn't go to the website to find out when they release these beers so you can pick this up and put it in the fridge for 2, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20 years even and it's just going to get better over time guys there's no coffee in there it's going to fade the uh, awesome beer so if you've had it let me know what you think come meet again Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you next time.